Hey, this is Mike, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how easy it is to use Google Spreadsheets to create a really nice online map that you can share with your students, your colleagues, whatever. Um, so I'm logged into my Google account right now, and you need a Google account uh, for this to work. And when I'm logged in, I will see this little icon here that's got uh, three boxes across, um, down, and down, three down. Looks sort of like a Rubik's cube, and I'll click on that. And here's where I can get to all of my Google um, applications. And here's Google Drive. I'll click on Google, Google Drive, and that will take me to all of my Google um, Drive options. And to create a spreadsheet, I just go to Create, and Spreadsheet is one of the options right here. And you can click on Google uh, Spreadsheet, and it will pop up a spreadsheet that looks very much like Excel. You can even import an Excel spreadsheet directly into so I've got a spreadsheet already prepared that I can show you. Um, and in this spreadsheet, I've got um, all the countries of the world, including um, their population. So I've got the first column is countries, second column is population. And now let's say that I wanted to create a map that will show us what those populations are in a sort of color-coded map. So the first thing that I want to do is select the entire sheet. And I'm just clicking and holding as I select the sheet. And you'll notice that the once I select something, it turns blue. So I'm almost done with selecting everything, and there it is. So that's everything. And now when I want to create a map, all I do is go to Insert, Chart, and now it's going to ask me um, what ranges I would like. So this is Sheet 1, um, Row A2 through Row F233, um, which that's what I want. And now I will choose the type of chart that I would like. And you notice you've got all these charts that you can choose. So you don't have to just do a map, you can do any sort of chart. Um, I'm going to choose map here. And the type of map that I would like is going to be the geo chart with regions. So now you notice it has got some weird colors here. Um, China is in green because it's very populated. India is in green because it's very populated. Um, but I'm going to customize that because I don't like the uh, sort of green and red as my colors. So to customize that, I'll click on the Customize tab, and I'll choose the background color. Um, white is fine. If I wanted to choose another color, I could choose another color. So let's say I wanted that as my other color. But I'm going to just choose white because I think it shows up better. Um, now, I can choose different regions as well. So this is the world but I have other options. I can choose Africa, Asia, Europe, North America, South America, or just the United States, which is nice. Um, and now I can choose the colors. So my min color, that's the, the minimum color. And let's go ahead and choose like a light orange for that. And the mid-range color, um, I'm gonna choose a little bit darker orange. And then the maximum color, I'll go ahead and choose the darkest orange. And now you can see that the map is starting to look a little bit more color-coded. And now I can say, insert. And somewhere down at the bottom or up at the top, it's up at the top. Uh, the map has been inserted, and it gets inserted in a weird way. So what I like to do is I like to just sort of drag it. It doesn't want to drag. So if it doesn't want to drag, what I really like to do is I like to move it to another chart. So when you hover over the map, you'll get this little downward arrow in the right. And if I click on that, I can get back to that advanced edit screen if I would like. I can delete the chart. I can save it as an image. I can publish it. I can copy it or I can move it to its own sheet. That's what I like to do. So move it to its own sheet. 
and you'll notice there it is as chart 5. So that's chart 5. And now all I need to do if I want to embed it in a website somewhere is share it first of all. So right now it's private only to me. And I'll call that world map with population. Save. And now I can select instead of private only I can access it. I will choose public on the web. Save. And done. I can also invite people if I wanted them to edit the map. So I'll say done. So that's it. Now, if I want to publish the chart, I can click on publish. And it'll warn you that all the sheets will be published and you say fine. And now I can choose an interactive chart or an image. I prefer an interactive chart because then as I update the database, the spreadsheet, the map will automatically regenerate. And I can just copy this code and I'll click done. So now that code I can use to embed in, for example, a WordPress web page. And I'll show you how to do that in the next step. Okay, so if you want to go ahead and um, if you wanted to put this into uh, a WordPress blog, um, you can do that very easily. So um, you can, if you don't have a blog, you can go to blogs.wm.edu and if you have a William & Mary username and password, you can go ahead and sign up for a new uh, blog account. So I've created a world map website that I can post this map to. Um, right now it's blank and if I wanted to post it, um, I would log into my site. Um, I would go ahead and edit the post that I would like to put the map into, so I'll click on edit here, and now to paste that text, the code that I got from the other page, instead of being at the visual editor, so instead of looking at the visual editor tab, what you're going to want to do is right here you're going to click on text, and that's where you can paste your code in. So I'm going to get rid of this welcome text. And I'm going to go ahead and paste that iframe and I can add whatever text I want as well as the iframe. If I take a look at the visual editor you'll see the iframe is this big yellow blob. And I can click on update and when I view the post you'll see there's that map that's embedded into Post. And when I hover over any of the countries, it gives me the population and the country. And that's as easy as it is to create a world map or um, a continent map or a United States map that is color coded. Um, and you can put a little legend at the bottom there if you'd like world population or whatever you'd like to do. Um, that's all there is to it.